All right, welcome to East Steps True News. We're going to look at the Go 16 Live satellite radar. But I want you to notice, I don't know if that quake was there earlier when I reported the earthquakes or not. I didn't have time to go back and look. But these here was already here. So we have activity getting ready to move in. We got hot spots in the ocean, had hot spots in the ocean last night. They got to go somewhere. We're seeing activity from the hot spots, and now we have another one right off the coast of Oregon. Okay, we're going to northwest Oregon in the ocean. We got this one right here. This is the Go 16 Live satellite. The links to this satellite and more is in the description box below. Scroll down below this update and click show more. Click on the fireball icon, my profile, and go to my channel if you want to check the rest out. Okay, these white dots right here are sectors. And we went right here to look at them. Look at the hot spot that we just saw. Okay, now we're looking at Southern California. We have one west of Salton Sea on land then we move over here in the ocean right at the edge of dark last night we have this one out here way out there Okay, that one way out there should go on down to Puerto Rico, South America, somewhere like that. It's too far out to come on land around close to here. Okay, now that hot spot we've seen on land. Now here's Warner Springs, Julian, Borrego Springs. And over here is Salton Sea. The hot spot's right in here somewhere. Can't tell exactly the location right now. You know, the exact loca location. Alright, now this one in Oregon, off the uh, coast of Oregon, is on the thrust belt. And right here is the Cascadia Subduction Zone. Coming down through here. That's where the plates are jammed. And that's the cause of the magma backing up. Other factors may interfere with this. But the Cascadia Subduction Zone has been jammed for three years. Over three years. And it's going to have to slip sometime. And since we got this hot spot. One to three days, we're going to see some more activity down through here. From last night's hot spot and today's hot spot. Well, tonight's. We should see activity for the next couple of days. Larger quakes than normal. And in areas that hasn't ever had a quake or hasn't had any in a while. And Puerto Rico is still swarming. Take a glance over here. Okay, Hawaii, don't see too many just that one 2.9 over there, the 2.5s and greater. And we had a 2.6 at the new super volcano. Okay, we don't have too much going on down there still yet, but we're watching it. All right, I'll see everyone on my next updates. Everybody stay safe, and remember that buoy that's going off, if you go on there and look at that, it will have to continue for 24 hours before it can be reset. All right, I'll see you next time. Stay safe.